Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association Corporal Eric Glass Corporal Eric Glass was born and raised into a working class family in the Roslea area of Enniskillen. After leaving school he worked for a sewing company in Lisbon Ski and he later married his wife Winifred Kilpatrick and they settled into a little cottage on the Fermanagh Monaghan border. Mr Glass signed up to the 4th Battalion Ulster Defence Regiment, becoming the most highly decorated soldier of the Troubles. Eric Glass became a part-time member of the UDR in 1970, and by 1972 he was on an IRA hit list. Sadly, in 1972, Eric's friend Harry Crichton was shot and killed by the IRA near the Glass home. Soon after this, Eric was offered protection as the IRA continually threatened him and his family by firing guns over the family home. Under constant threat from the IRA and in fear for his family's lives, the family moved to Maguire's Bridge. In 1978, Eric took a job as a gang man for Fermanagh County Council. He was the driver of the van carrying eight workmen that came under a gun attack from the IRA. The shots killed one man and even though Eric was shot in the shoulder, he still managed to drive through the ambush, getting everyone to safety. He received the Queen's Gallantry Medal for his bravery. It was many years later while working as a dog warden that the IRA singled him out to be killed. On the 3rd of February 1992, a call came into the council office for Eric Glass. The man on the other end of the phone claimed a dog had bit his niece and he wanted Eric to come out to deal with it and insistently asked him what time he would be there. The address was to a small farmhouse near the border and the caller was a heavily armed member of the IRA who had been holding the homeowner hostage from the morning before. As soon as Eric turned up to the address, he was met by two armed men rushing towards him and shouting, IRA, get out of the van. One of the terrorists had an automatic rifle around his neck, leaving his hands free to grab Eric out of the van, and the other gunman was firing his revolver through the passenger door, aiming to kill. Eric quickly reached for his personal protection pistol and fired three shots through the door, shooting the gunman who died at the scene. He then swiftly turned around and pushed the door open into the other attacker. This coward then fled for cover. Eric took cover at the front wheel of the van and opened fire on the two other terrorists who were firing Kalashnikov type rifles from behind a low wall about 20 metres away. One of the gunmen had approached the side of the house when Eric realised he was out of ammunition, so he had to put himself in the direct line of fire to reach the spare magazine, which was in his coat pocket in the van. The terrorists realised what Eric was doing and they ran towards him, firing and hitting him in the left leg. He managed to quickly reload his pistol and bravely started fighting back, and as he did, he heard one of the gunmen shout, two, three and four run for it. They then ran and hid. Eric was losing a lot of blood and he shouted to the owner of the house to call for help, but he refused in fear that the terrorists would shoot him and said he could use the phone if he could get to it by himself. Worried he would lose consciousness, Eric picked himself up with the aid of a brush handle and made it into the hallway of the farmhouse where he was able to make the call. And as he did, he looked out of the window and saw one of the gunmen come back up the field, go over to the body of the dead gunman and take his gun, then run back the way he came. Eric said, I thought if he comes for me now, I no longer have the strength to pull the trigger as I watched the blood pour from my boot. The military helicopter coming for Eric had seen the three remaining gunmen still at the scene, but they soon fled to the border and were quickly arrested by the Garda. James Hughes, aged 31, and Connor O'Neill, aged 30, 
received 12 years each for attempted murder, with a further 12 years for firearm charges. Under a Court of Appeal in 1996, the attempted murder charges against these two IRA members was squashed, although the sentence for firearms was to be upheld. The third member of the group, Noel McGee, failed in his appeal to have the attempted murder charge squashed. But in 1998, all three of them were released under the Good Friday Agreement. The fourth gunman, Joseph McManus, aged 21, who died when Mr Glass returned fire, is celebrated by Sinn Féin as a hero. Let us not forget the real hero that day, Corporal Eric Glass, who bears the scars both physically and psychologically from this atrocity who came out of hospital nine months later to find he had lost his job as a dog warden and was also advised to leave his job with the UDR. Although Mr Glass had to leave his regiment, he was still a target for the IRA, so he moved his family again for safety reasons. When the three convicted IRA gunmen were released in 1998, Mr Glass was again advised to review his security as he was still a target. Eric Glass was awarded a DCM by Queen Elizabeth II in 1992 in a private ceremony. <laughs>